Hello everyone, welcome to this video. If you are a student of civil engineering and you are planning to buy a new laptop, so in this video I am going to tell you that what are the points which you need to take care before buying a new laptop. This is because uh, you will buy a laptop that will work uh, that will be with you for at least four to five years. So in that case you will be using that laptop for your college life and uh, after that also you will be using it uh, in your pro uh, professional life for at least uh, two to three years. So you need to choose a good laptop that is able to perform all your tasks. So why do you need a good laptop? So the answer of this question is that in civil engineering, if you are a student or even if you are going to work in the field of civil engineering, you will be required to work on various softwares. Some of the softwares I have written like AutoCAD, Stat Pro, Rabbit, SketchUp, 3ds Max. So some of these softwares are very heavy and they need a good processor as well as the graphics card. Like we have to do some architectural work, 3D rendering. So in that case, we need a good graphics card inside our system to perform well. So before buying a laptop, that is why it is necessary to search or get a best laptop which is available in your budget. So what are the key points which you need to consider before buying a laptop as a civil engineering student or a civil engineering professional? Uh, the processor in your laptop should be at least i5, 12 gen or above. See, there are various type of processors. Uh, you should go for those processors whose name end with the H. For example, uh, 12450H, 12500H. So these are the uh, processors which are made for high performing tasks. They are basically gaming uh, processors, but uh, they are good in all the multitasking and the architectural or 3D works. So you can go with those processors. Next, the RAM. So I will recommend minimum of 16 GB RAM and uh, better if it is expandable in your laptop, it, uh, better if, it, if uh, it can go up to 32 GB. So minimum 16 GB is recommended at this point of time. Next is the graphics card. I will recommend six, uh, 4 GB of NVIDIA graphics card. You can go up to 6 GB if your budget allows, but uh, 4 GB is recommended and uh, you should go with RTX series. There is one more series GTX that is outdated. So I will recommend you RTX series that is start from 2050, 3050 and so on. So you can buy a 4GB graphics card uh, that should be in your laptop and uh, talking about storage it should be at least 512GB and that should be SSD, SSD not SDD, hard drive should not be there, hard drive is outdated and SSD we all know that that is much faster than, than the hard drive so we should go for SSD and uh, it will be better if your laptop has extra slot to expand the storage also up to 1TB or 2TB whatever so you can see that while buying your laptop so minimum 512GB SSD is recommended. Now some of the laptop series I will recommend you which are in budget. So first is HP. If you are HP lover then you can go with the Victor series or Omen series. If you are a Lenovo lover then you can buy IdeaPad Gaming Log series or their Legion series. See Log series is between IdeaPad and Legion. So Log is uh, offering a very good uh, features at uh, affordable price. So I will recommend you to buy Log series if you have good budget or if you have no any budget constraint I will recommend you to go for the Legion series. In Acer, you can go for Nitro or Predator. In Asus, you can go for Tough or ROG. So these are some of the recommended series. Dell, you can also go, but Dell laptops, laptops are relatively expensive than all of these uh, mentioned brands. So for the starting as a student, you can go with any of these HP Lenovo, Acer or Asus. See, many times students are not clear that what they are going to do in the future. Like they have taken admission in the civil engineering branch, but uh, what happens that many of them at the end go towards the IT branch or they do coding and go for some IT jobs. So in that case also, these laptops are going to help you a lot because in IT sector also, maybe you will be going towards the Android development or AI ML projects or uh, some game development. So in that case also, these laptops are going to be future proof. So I will recommend you even if you are not clear that what type of work or in which field you are going after your uh, engineering or after your graduation in that case also i will recommend you to buy one of these laptops because these laptops are going to be future proof you will need uh, you will not uh, need to worry about your laptop system for next four to five years if you buy a laptop with these specifications so this is all about this video i hope it helped you and uh, i wish you all the best meet you in the next video thank you